So we are ready to grind up the rest of the bevel into this. I'm not exactly sure yet how high I want to go up. Um, I mean, I already have bevels in this, but I don't know if I want to stay below where the forged in bevels go to or not, or go above. I'm probably going to go below, but I'll start low, look at it, and then figure out what I want to do with the rest of it. So over to the grinder. I'm thinking we should be able to knock the grinding out pretty quick on this thing. On to the 120. All right, while I'm at the grinder, I'm gonna clean up this tang a little bit. It's pretty rough. Normally on my brute to forge stuff, I use my sandblast cabinet to get rid of all the forge scale, which this one, there's not much because we put some flux on it and then scrubbed it away. But this time I'm just gonna use a wire brush to clean it up. Maybe give it a, a little different appearance. I think I like that. A lot different than what I normally do. Looks pretty good. On to hand sanding.
So here we are all hand sanded and wire brushed and all that good stuff. So we're ready to start picking out handle material. And initially I wanted to use a pink and a blue just because I like pink and I like blue and they go well together, but I wanted to use brass with this. And unfortunately I've got no brass. I've got a thin sheet of it, but I need a thicker bar and then some pin stock, which I don't have. So I do have copper bar. So I'm going to use copper and then a piece of black. It looks like it's curly. So I'm going to take the copper. I'm going to put it right up here against the bolster and then the black for the handle and then copper pin. I assume that you didn't want to watch me cut out all the little pieces, do all the tedious work. So I just did it and got them fit up to this blade. So now that I have these fit up, I just need to refine all the pieces, get the handle to a, a shape I'm pleased with, get the spacer all shaped up to this bolster, and then we'll be able to put it together. Here's where we're at so far. Got the spacer shaped and fitted and somewhat polished and looking all right. Then I got the handle somewhat shaped. I'll finish it once it's all glued up. That way it'll make it easier to clamp the knife down and hand sand the, the handle get it nice and pretty. But as for now, this is what we've got. And I did a little heating on the spine. You can see a little purple here, but that's just the oil that was on the, on the blade. So we're good with that temper. It's still, still good. On to my absolute favorite part, the hand sanding. I'm gonna do this to help refine the shape a little bit because some of my facets are off. And I'm trying to keep the facets so that they match the bolster. Got all the facets cleaned up. Lines are looking good. So now onto the 400. Start making this wood pretty. We're up to a thousand grit here, 1500 and we're done.
So it's all finished up. Got the handle buffed, spacer buffed, the pin peened and buffed. All I really need to do is uh, just put a, a finish on the handle, put a wax on the blade, and I think I'm gonna make a leather sheath for this. So I'll add an additional video to the series of this build.